All right, and then so the next step is to uh, enable this delete function here. Um, so going back to the back end of the application into blogs, I'm going to create the function right here at the bottom. And it's going to be router.delete requests. And then I'll just name it delete blog. And then pass in the ID. Um, then I'm going to make sure that the params were passed. Um, no ID provided. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and search for it in the database by ID. blog's not found then that just means the ID they provided is invalid or we'll say uh, ID was not found or rather um, blog was not found and then I'm going to search for the user that's logged in um, in the database by ID And if the users are not found, um, which usually will never happen, um, say unable to authenticate user. Uh, otherwise, I'll go ahead and compare the username to the blog's creator. And if it doesn't match, I'll say. Um, you are not authorized to delete this blog post. Otherwise, I'll do blog remove. Um, this error will usually never happen, um, but just in case. Pretty long one there, um, but let's go ahead and implement this. So I'm going to go into the front end. Um, and actually, I haven't created the components, so I'm going to create it inside of blog. So let me go inside of client, source, app, components, and then blog. And then in the services, uh, right here in blog service, I'll create one at the bottom. Just name it delete blog. Pass in the, um, the ID. Create those headers. And then http.delete. Oops. Oops. All right. And so then I can use that now in this delete blog component. Um, and before I do that, let me add it to the routes. So I'm going to go to my routes here and basically do the same thing I did up here. 
Uh, actually, let me import that component first. Um, So path will be delete blog slash ID and then component is um, delete blog. Oops. There we go. Then can activate should be off guard. Make sure the user's logged in. Alright, and then going into the um, delete blog, HTML and then the component. Go ahead and start building this HTML. And create my um, custom message. And I'll say ngf message is true. So I'll add that up here. Okay. Uh, whoops. Should be um, ng class. Just add that there. Then the actual message. All right. So I'm gonna create a box here and I'm gonna make it a uh, column medium six. And I will add an ngf to this. That's going to say uh, found blog, right? So we're only going to display this bottom part if the blog uh, that's passed in through the parameters is actually found. So I'll go back and set this to false by default. And I'm going to create a model. So I'll say model content and then model header. Passing a button, um, class is going to be close, and data dismiss will close out the model. Um, so that's the little X button at the top right um, for the models. And um, create the H4 tag with the class of the title. Confirm. Right. And then for the body, I'm just going to say, um, are you sure you would like to delete this blog? Okay. And then I'll add the footer finally with a button and I will disable this button when processing just like I've been doing um, so set this to false by default and then add the class and this one will be yes and the other one will be no so yes Actually, I'm going to go ahead and um, add a click event to this. So if you just press yes, we'll delete blog. Right. And um, if I hit yes, what we'll do, we won't do a click event. Um, Instead, I'll just put this in a link and then just send them back um, to the previous page. So we'll say router link um, blog. I think it's blog, right? Not blogs. Okay, yeah. All right, and let me just close these tags up. Um, and then underneath here, still in the model though. Um, I'm going to pass in a panel um, and then do my 
my panel heading and we'll pass in the um, blog title here then the body right and finally the footer Um, for here, I'll do kind of like I did before, posted by. Then I'll pipe the date and put it in this format. Okay, oops, four. Um, oops. Right. And then I'm going to bring in the um, the uh, blog service. Um, so blog service. Oops. And then pass that here. Oops. There we go. Then I'll pass in blog because I'm going to sign that here. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that blog service to get the blog that the user's trying to edit. And then so similar to what I did with the edit. Um, blog component right here where I got the uh, current URL. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Um, don't need that. So I'll just pass that here. And then I'll also pass in current URL. And I'm going to assign that uh, when the component initializes. So I'll just say current URL is the activated route snapshot and then the params. Then I'll run the uh, blog service to um, get the current blog with single blog. I'll pass the current URL with its ID and then subscribe to that. So if it's not successful, then I will go ahead and set the class. And then the message. Okay, and then if it is successful, I will go ahead and set the blog object to title is going to be data blog title. Um, body is going to be body. That should be a comma. Created by. And then lastly, create it at. And then um, I'll say found blog, set that to true. Right then, I'll just test this and I'll go to delete blog. And you should see the confirmation model here uh, with the two options. Oops, accidentally put yes and yes. Um, so I want to change that. Um, and then you should see the actual blog information here. So I'm just going to make some minor adjustments to this. Um, I forgot to add the break. Um, whoops, I don't know why I did that. There we go. And uh, make sure this says no. Then I also want to put um, another break here. And let me just make sure that looks all right. All right, so that's good. So you'll notice now if you hit uh, no, It'll take you back. So let's go ahead and add some functionality to this delete blog button. Um, let me go ahead and grab the router because I will be needing that. All right. And so I'll set processing to true. And then I will use the blog service that we created before, which is delete blog. 
and it's expecting the ID so we can get that with current URL dot ID and then subscribe to that. Um, so if it's not success, whoops, set that class. And then the message. Else, do the same thing, but the success. And then also set a timeout. And so what I'll do is after two seconds, I'll reroute to the previous page. So do that with router navigate, and then I'll just redirect to the blog page, All right? So let's see if that works. Um, just go ahead and hit yes, and you'll see blog deleted. And you'll see that it's missing now. So go ahead and test it one more time. I'm gonna specifically alert, search for the second one here, hit delete, hit yes, get that confirmation, and then you'll see it's gone.